Hello, my little cherubs, how are you? I hope you're well. I wanted to start out this reading vlog because I've been procrastinating doing so. I've been really busy uh, and I might run late for work now, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, I want to start this reading vlog. I'm doing a buddy read of Blueberries by Elena Savage with Nathan's Nook. Uh, it's going to be a really good time. I started the first essay last night and I'll give you guys my thoughts on that a little bit later when I have some more time. Uh, but yeah, it's already so good. She's a Melbourne writer, so she's from where I am from. And that's really exciting and really refreshing. The format of this is already so intriguing. It's like a stream of consciousness, a meditation. It's beautiful. I can't wait to get into it and discuss with Nathan. So yeah, uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. See you soon. Hello my darlings, how are you? I thought I'd jump on here and quickly update you on some reading I did today, Blueberries, Elena Savage, Nathan's Book Nook, book collab. Uh, we've been voice noting back and forth. I think we're both enjoying it so far. Uh, it's not as accessible as I thought it would be, but uh, of course it's going to be big brain energy. I don't know what I expected. That was silly of me. Uh, and I've been wanting to read this for such a long time, so it feels nice to finally read that into it. Nathan saying that he also had it really gave me an excuse to uh, read it and sort of otherwise I don't think I would have picked it up uh, as early as I have after buying it. But I think the main thing I'm taking from it, Yellow City was a really interesting introduction. Uh, it follows Elena throughout Lisbon as she, uh, it's like a split timeline, You, if you read it you'll know. Uh, and I think the form is really interesting and very intriguing. The long streams of consciousness and the thought interjections are something that I'm enjoying uh, because it reads very much like your brain does. Uh, your thought, your thoughts are constantly coming and going and interjecting. Uh, and the essayic style of the book is also like I think all of it, like the whole format, is very uh, refreshing and new, and I really like it. I think one. Two major things that we took from the essay, uh, I don't want to speak for Nathan, but I know that Nathan was thinking along the same vein as me in terms of memory. There's a lot to do with memory in this essay if you're into that. Uh, and how, although we live our lives in a linear fashion from zero to 100-ish, uh, our memories are ever changing and they're coming and they're going and it's like a revolving circle. Nathan said it was like a dog going in circles, which I thought, uh, chasing its own tail, which I thought was a very interesting analogy and I really liked that. And yeah, uh, another, the other concept would be that freedom and motherhood and being a child and what it means to seek freedom from your parents, from the rules of the house, from your upbringing. And if a mother can actually, or a parent can ever actually receive freedom from their child. Can they ever stop worrying? Can they ever stop uh, thinking about their child, making sure they're safe? That was just such an interesting concept to me uh, and something Nathan and I discussed at length. Uh, I finished Blueberries as well, and now I understand where the essay, uh, the collection got its name from. Uh, it's very interesting. Uh, if you didn't know Blueberries here in Australia, Elena Savage, which I found out is Australian, I didn't know this before reading the book, uh, but blueberries are very expensive here majority of the year and they're sort of like a luxury uh, food. Shopping organic is a very luxury thing, uh, not for many people, uh, it's not very accessible here. Uh, and I think her correlation to blueberries making her a higher class uh, and that imposter syndrome she feels eating the blueberries is very interesting and it's not a concept I thought about uh, but it's definitely very valid uh, as an Australian I can attest to that uh, also the thing I really uh, one passage I really took from the book I think I might insert a photo I don't know uh, was the idea of her grandma and grandpa both being artists but her grandma always being seen in a different light because her grandmother was never allowed to just be an artist she also had to be a mother she also had to be uh, this housewife she had to provide for her husband and her family and if yeah I just and if her husband couldn't work she had to work like she always picked up the slack and it never fell on him which I think is very interesting and how this influenced Elena's perception of what an artist is a, an artist as a woman to her was multifaceted it wasn't just the art it was so many other things uh, so yeah, I'm just really enjoying it. That was a ramble, but I I don't know, maybe you guys have read it and enjoyed those thoughts. So I'm going to keep reading it over the weekend. I don't know how much I'll get done uh, and when I'll update you next, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, no real updates. This weekend, I guess I will 
uh, tell you now because I don't think I'll have a chance to speak to you. I'm going down to Melbourne. I'm going to go out in the city on the weekend for dinner and do some shopping. And then, yeah, that's really about it. But hopefully I talk to you guys soon. So, yeah. Till then. your new back tats, which is very exciting. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> people I wanted to jump on here and close out this vlog I know there wasn't a lot of other clips uh, in this vlog which I'm really sorry for uh, but I think I've just been so busy uh, and so many things have been happening so I didn't film as much as I would like to but I did finish blueberries we finished it in under a week I think we finished in like five days or so Nathan and I uh, which was a good effort because it, it was not an easy read but not a tough read it was just a really nice read um, and I think something that I really needed at this point in not only time of the year but also my life in general I feel like it just hit me um so yeah I loved it I think Nathan really enjoyed it too uh it was oh it was just so good uh but yeah let's talk about my thoughts so I'm so enamored to say the least it like as I said it hit me where it needed to it was genre bending as it says and it was just really refreshing the format uh, the experimentation although some of the essays i was a bit iffy about the way they were formatted i i could appreciate them uh in that it was trying to do something different uh which was as i said refreshing um but i think it's blueberries is such an interesting commentary on what it means to be a writer and what it means to be a young person committing to their art what makes an artist so many things like being an artist is difficult she talks so much about that uh and she talks about like who gets the privilege to create art and is it a privilege to create art are we lucky to be artists in some sort of way to create content even nathan when i was speaking about is that lucky uh i really love so many of the essays but i think she provides a really interesting commentary uh on power on violence on the illusion of choice that we're, we have and we perceive to have, uh, memory, growing up, writing, so many things. Uh, it was so complex, there were so many things and I feel like I can't uh, like hit everything, but I think she talks really uh, beautifully on one part that I found very like gripping was the idea that we should be talking about how and why we get to certain conclusions and answer not the answer itself and she talks about how people like maggie Nelson really do a beautiful job of exploring this why and making us more critical thinkers about why we have certain opinions and why we act the way we do uh, and that's something i really really enjoyed about the essay uh i think that elena has a really forceful and impactful voice yet it's relatable and I felt like I was having coffee with her and it was just so relatable like I ate it up I really ate it up and I feel like the fact that it was Australian and Australian in a good way not good a mate like it was very accurate in its depiction of our landscape of the political issues we're dealing with what it means to grow up in Australia uh, in such a vast landscape uh, that's relatively isolated uh, from the rest of the world what it yeah i just feel like it did a really beautiful job of expressing that and being a young person in australia and it's like set all around my home like it, she grew up in melbourne which is where i'm from uh and she literally like areas like brunswick she talks about which i love brunswick uh, and these places where we find belonging 
uh, an essay that I found really, really enjoyable was Houses and how she uses houses as like signposts for memory and how she like gets back to those memories. She correlates them to the houses she was living in and the way that that essay is chopped between like house 19, house 1, house 23, house 4, uh, and how it revolves and it goes in circles and it circles back in a similar way to our memory does. And I think memory was something that Nathan and I kept coming back to because it just, it's the glue of this book uh, and how we have non-linear memories and how the human mind is very interesting in the way that it presents its memories to us, whether that be uh, randomly when we're doing something or whether we use writing as a crutch to cope with these memories. Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed that. I'll give you some essays uh, that I found really interesting and talk you through some notes. Uh, the Literature of Sadness was exquisite, exceptional. Page 152 to 155, if you have the book, read it. Read those pages, it's, it's beautiful. Uh, turning 30, I think you could really feel the time passing and the idea that we have all these plans for ourselves when we're younger and what at whatever age you turn, you look back at your younger self and how vastly different your life is to how you planned it, which I can really feel that at the moment uh, in my own life. Uh, I've already talked about houses and the portrait of the writer as the worker was really interesting and how to make a living as a writer and how difficult that is and how committing yourself to that. Uh, you do it for the passion, you don't do it for the money. So yeah, those are some thoughts I had. Uh, Nathan probably will articulate himself much better than I will, but it was a very enjoyable body read. Thank you, Nathan, for doing it with me. And uh, I'll see you guys in a vlog soon. Um, I'm going to start reading Blue Nights. I started that vlog today. Uh, lots of exciting updates in that vlog as well so yeah pretty much pretty futuristic i'm talking to you between vlogs but yeah i hope you're well i hope you're reading lots update me on your reads what are you going to try and read in the next few months and i will see you soon i'm sure thanks for watching guys Toodaloo.